I don't care for attention. I was just defending property with lethal intent is not right, and the guy arguing on voice is being silly. That's all. Okay, can you get in Discord then? Because this is it's a pretty cringe take, homie. Isn't Sansol a streamer person? Yeah, that's why I was making a deal out, deal out of it. Okay, get inside of Discord, please. There's the Discord link right there. If uh, I say that the true victim here is Trump because of how this affected his campaign, can I get a talk about the UK politics? No, absolutely not. Nobody cares about UK politics. Country might as well not exist. Hello? Hello? Your mic doesn't seem to be working, young one. Yeah. All right. You want to defend that you, uh, the, the position that you shouldn't be able to defend property with lethal force? Uh, sure. You I fucking amaryllids are so fucking otherwise? cringe. I mean, I don't... I'm sorry, what? Why I should defend it. What? I said, uh, can you convince me otherwise? Yeah, sure. So um, I think, yeah, yeah, sure. sure. So uh, let me lay out my argument for why you should be able to. I think okay. if you have property that you believe is valuable to you, that you put your labor hours into, I mean, that's a manifestation of your livelihood. That's a manifestation of your life, right? You've put your labor into something and you've received back U.S. dollars, or let's assume it's a U.S., USD, or some kind of uh, currency for your labor. And then the manifestation of that is your property. I think you should be able to defend that with lethal force if somebody's attempting to take that from you. Because I think a world where in which that isn't the case enables people to be able to steal from people who are just like ultimately weaker than them. So like for instance, if somebody's in a wheelchair, I can infinitely keep stealing from that person um, if I want to, because they're just not gonna be able to stop me. They could try and call the cops, but if I'm able to get away in time, you're just saying, hey, fuck it. Like that person has to sit there and watch. Uh. Here's how I'd put it. Uh, can you agree that uh, immoral actions are acceptable when the world is flawed? Like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, if and, Okay, so are you going to come at this from like a separate? No, I would say that immoral actions are never justified. That's what makes them immoral. No, uh, what I would say is if... All those flaws you're talking about, your, your livelihood, you lose your livelihood, you're in a wheelchair or whatever, you're going to, I imagine you're talking about this hypothetical person in the wheelchair is sure. going to lose their business and die and uh, starve, They're, they don't have any other option. I, I would argue those are faults of the community and they don't justify that person uh, defending their property. But the material reality is that they are in that position, so they should. Yeah, be but able that's to... that's Go my ahead. point. That's exactly my point. That the material reality is what makes it. I wouldn't say justified, but acceptable for this point in time for this for the so then community it, just what you're at this point communicating to me and i think this is perhaps just a like a miscommunication of terms is that you wish it wouldn't have to be the case that in these current circumstances this would have to be necessary and that your ideal society would encompass excuse me, encompass one where this wouldn't have to be necessary, where somebody who's getting stolen from wouldn't be so destitute or what have you to be able to uh to enable people who want to steal or have the ability to steal to yeah. be able to do it. Yeah, basically, but I I would disagree with you in the sense that it's still not moral, like mor morality, like I'm not going to argue from some moral relativist position because that's essentially what it is to say, well, it's okay in these circumstances because society is this way and so on and so on, but I'd still say it's wrong. I just say it's... A we're just using this understandable we could, we, we could use acceptable or different uh, terms if you would like or what have you but at the end of the day if some guy in a wheelchair shot and killed somebody breaking into their store right yeah. just trying to steal their livelihood sure. would you say that person's a bad person no I, I wouldn't say anyone's i'd say they did something they shouldn't have done so meaning that they, you, that they should not have done that, that it would have yeah. made reality better had they not shot that person. 
yeah uh that uh if everyone did not shoot that person the world would be better uh, again uh, like okay. that's so not then, the world we're not living in some vacuum well obviously I'm, I'm it yeah, doesn't I'm matter what they do yeah i'm yeah. talking about the yeah, material right. world and i i do not believe the material world would be better off if if everybody who defended their property with lethal force was told to not do that in the future i don't think so it's a morally neutral action they can choose to do so if they value the property to that level or they they can choose not to it's up to them however uh, you are making the claim that it is it is would make the world worse if they did that which means they should not meaning that you would say that like anybody who does it is a bad person no yeah uh Again, uh, we're getting into like good and bad. Uh, I don't That's think it's what like morality good and bad. is. Okay. Uh, I don't. No, I don't think morality is good and bad. What? It's what? Not, then what? What do you think morality is? Uh, what it's is, a spectrum of. Uh, it's not like everything is a binary good or it's, bad. It's not a There's binary just, good or bad. This is why I said previously it's morally neutral, right? It's not a good or bad action to kill. Yeah, somebody but I don't think it's morally you. neutral. It's. Okay, how do you how it's do you judge on the bad side of the Okay, on the you're using the word very, bad there when saying you don't have yeah, to use the word Yeah, because you're you're the bad. one bringing it up. That's okay, what then, I'm saying. Do you, I don't want okay, to Okay, on the that. on the fundamental level, here here's what I'd say. Just exactly like that guy was saying, the guy before who just shitted the bed. But I would say any property, any livelihood, any whatever you want to argue, it's rebuildable. Now, whether how difficult it is to rebuild it or regain what you lost is not really the problem of the aggressor or you or whoever. Like you're talking how about how is it not the problem problems. of the aggressor? Because the aggressor is actively because saying they didn't... that your autonomy isn't worth it, and I'm going to take it from you because I believe I don't respect your ability to have it. Because that's not a necessary outcome. That's not like some... That is a necessary... Uh, In order for somebody no, to steal not... from you, they have to, by definition, not respect your authority to have it. But they don't have to... It's not... Uh, the... Your outcome is not a necessity. Like your example of some guy in a wheelchair just... Uh, becoming homeless and starving in the streets or whatever. No, but I'm you have sorry. to contend. That, that you, you, no, no, you have to contend with that example, though, because earlier you said that, that it would still be immoral for that person who is homeless in a wheelchair or who will be homeless in a wheelchair if you steal from them. You said that that person's still immoral for shooting somebody who steals from them. So you have to contend with that. That the reality that you want to set up says that, hey, guess what? If you're some broke, destitute individual and who needs this business to be able to live and somebody steals from you, that you have to just sit there and let it happen. Because that's not a necessary outcome. That is not something that is 100% going to happen as opposed to you killing them, which is 100% without a doubt, without any argument, ending their life. Whereas them stealing from you, no matter your livelihood or if it's a stick of gum or whatever it is, that doesn't necessarily result in you dying in the streets or so, whatever it is you're trying so to argue. So I have, I have to roll the dice then. What you're saying is a world where in which I have to roll the dice for doing absolutely nothing, I mean, wrong, meaning I'm just an upstanding citizen. I have to do, I've done absolutely nothing wrong. I have to roll the dice with whether or not I'm going to live or die due to poverty just because uh, this individual who is by definition, like infringing on my rights to be able to have my property, just that way I don't like harm them or kill them. Excuse me. Uh, no, kill I didn't them? say harm. Kill yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, kill, uh, kill them. Just that way. So I have to roll uh, the I dice think you on can... my life because somebody else was an idiot and is trying to steal my property. You can make that argument about anything. Like you can make that argument Not about really. people in poverty without, yeah, because uh, the society is set up in this and this way, capitalism, bad, blah, blah, blah. I'm rolling my dice by not becoming a criminal because of my circumstances. You can make that argument. No, no, no. That's with... not that's not the case. In this scenario, we have very clearly that like I have to visibly watch and then materially have the ability to do something else. But you are saying that I ought not. I ought not use lethal force in this scenario in the hopes that I RNG my way into not staying into okay, let poverty. Me, let me ask you something. Uh, let's say um, you're that home, you're that guy in a wheelchair or uh, yeah. just anyone mm -hmm. and someone holds you up for 20 bucks in your pocket 
are you justified in killing them? If holds that's all you, they want, holds they just... You, holds you up? Yeah, they just mug you. you. Uh, uh, they mug Did you, they and mug they're me like, yo, with give, like me, a give me I mean, I think $20 it, it... in your pocket, and that's all I want. I don't want anything else. Give me 20 bucks, and I'm gone. Are you justified in killing them? Well, are they doing it with a lethal weapon? I mean, you're in a wheelchair, and uh, their fists are basically whatever imagine whatever scenario you want i they so just say it, give me your 20 bucks the only way you don't give me your 20 bucks is if you kill me are you justified in killing them wait i'm sorry the only way you don't give me the 20 bucks is if you kill me like yeah they like, just gonna, uh, like i would probably just give them the 20 bucks because it's just 20 bucks who really cares however okay so however, where's that line on, however yeah Right, infringing yeah. on people like y what you're getting into is how much property people are willing to give before they're able to like kill somebody, and that twenty dollars could be the difference between living and dying for some people. Like, let me give you an example: legitimately a homeless person, right, who just got this twenty dollars and will not eat without that twenty dollars. I think they're perfectly justified in killing that person if they uh, if they uh, can't eat without that twenty dollars. Yeah, hundred percent. They haven't eaten in oh. like a week, and they the, this is the one. One bit of money that they got from somebody who like graciously gave them that twenty dollars. Yeah, one hundred percent. I think they could be justified in doing that. I mean, uh, okay. First of all, that's uh, that's not a realistic. It absolutely is scenario. a realistic thing that can happen. Yeah, no, the homeless... not remotely. Not, Wait, you don't think homeless people get stolen from? No, not that. Uh, the idea that a homeless person can't get twenty dollars, like twenty dollars, is the difference between life and death for a homeless person. That's kind of absurd. Unless that guy's been mugged like a thousand times in a fucking row. How much money but do you sure. think homeless people are walking around with in their pockets? Bro, I've been homeless. Do you know how much money homeless people walk around with in the majority of states I'm, I'm in America? Asking, I'm asking you, how much money do you think homeless people walk around with in their pockets? They, Any homeless person who is not like severely mentally ill and completely detached from society has a fucking EBT card or whatever the equivalent <sighs> is in the states. Which is well beyond dying, starving in the streets. So all homeless people have EBT cards. Do you think if I go up to every homeless person, they're going to have an EBT card? Uh, the Inside vast their majority. Okay. Yeah, the vast majority. All right. Oh, wh all right. Why do you do you have like some statistics against that or something? I, I'd be will I'd be reckoning that I could probably find some. Yeah, I, I think I could probably find some statistics. I don't have them on hand. Please before do. You ask Please that. do. Well, I'm not, I'm not gonna. Okay, yeah, if sure, that's sure. Uh, how many peop homeless people do you imagine starve in the United States every year? Um, like literally s starve, starve to death. Starve just... or die of like elements, or just specifically uh, starve. starve. To, well, you're talking about money, which is gonna give them food. So how many do you imagine well, you, literally just starve because so, they don't have money? Just that way you know, it, being money is like a correlation a often of time. So if I have the money to be able to buy food, then I can spend more time looking for shelter. Right? Instead of looking for food. Okay. So that's but a big we'll... part of it. Okay, how many do you imagine? Like some ballpark. Starve, a starve to death per year? Yeah. yeah. Uh, probably maybe Just five, like literally... or five, five or ten, probably. Five, ten, twenty, yeah, probably. So, so why are you like being so skeptical when you know that there's how many hundreds of thousands skeptical. of homeless you have people? To just, like... you, have to justify, you have to justify why that homeless person that might be starving to death can't kill somebody who is trying to steal from them. You have to justify that. Whereas in so, my, in my reality, like, all, where's in my your reality, line? In my reality, yeah. all you got to do is not steal from people. That's all you got to do. In your reality, if I'm somebody who's getting stolen from, whether it be somebody breaking into my property and looting my property, what have you, I have to sit there and not do anything about it unless, like, I can presumably wrestle them to the ground and subdue them, which is a liberty few people have and absolutely could be exploited. I think that's kind of d disingenuous. You're just saying, I mean, is oh, it not? Just don't steal from people. Well, why not just don't kill people? Who cares if they're stealing your shit? Well, well the, the reason, what do you, the what do you know? Maybe the, maybe wait, the person the who's stealing your shit. The reason why that's dumb is because people are going to get wrapped up into poverty if you just tell them, yeah, okay, whatever, just don't defend your property with lethal force. That's my point, is that the outcomes of those actions will result in people being broken, destitute, and having to roll the dice when somebody's infringing upon their rights. And how do you know that person who's infringing upon their rights doesn't have a, isn't going to starve to death if they don't hey, steal they very, that money? Hey, they, they very well might. 
but we should be looking at systems to be able to help them out rather than encouraging that they steal from other people, which would be well, your system. Well, why not look at the systems to help out the people who got their shit robbed you so should, that they don't you should feel the at... need to kill people whenever they fear their livelihood we, we should we whatever. should do both at the same time however we currently live in a material reality where unlucky if i get my shit stolen i have a very realistic likelihood that i'm going to be broke or destitute if for a lot of people like 50 percent of businesses are small businesses and are hurting a lot more after coronavirus right like these these uh, businesses are not like fucking flourishing multinational corporations right a lot of them Cheers. are massively hurting and that's the material reality i would love a reality where in which we don't have to shoot and kill people because the insurance people come by the next day and are like here let me give you back all of the money that you just lost overnight and yeah, that'd be based as hell. And all we have to worry about is keeping people safe, right? That'd be incredible. That's not the reality we live in, period. But that's the point of the whole argument. You're right. Like, we agree on that. Sure, it'd be better if nobody had to worry about any of that shit. Right. But, but uh, we don't you're still live in justifying that reality. It, but you're still, it's like a, an argument from uh, convenience or whatever. You're just saying, well, this is how it is. Therefore, it's just, like, how can you use the rules of current society yeah, so to say that something is moral or immoral uh, prior correct me if i'm wrong but you were saying like things are either moral or immoral i don't imagine like context no, matters to whether it, some action yeah, is it massively right or wrong. Does, it absolutely does like i don't uh, make absolute, I, don't look, I would agree that a lot of actions are morally neutral for instance killing is a massive one that's morally neutral. Would you agree that killing somebody that is raping you is always justified or can always be justified? It's morally neutral. So like in your perfect society, right? Your utopia, yeah. if somebody sure. rapes you, sure. can you kill them? Well, like after the fact? No, or... during, during. Can you kill them? Yes, because you have no way of knowing. So boom, whether it sounds like, hold that. on. It sounds like killing people is contextually irrelevant, no? Yeah, but that context is not based on like the current circumstances of society or something. That context is just based on real, like the reality of physics. Like you just don't know. You can't read their minds. Okay, so then, you don't know so gonna, hold on. Like then the you, society, yep. the laws are not relevant to whether that's would you say? Be right would you then? Oh, I'll let you so, small fourteen months. So then, would you say then? Uh, thank you for the fourteen months. Would you say then that anybody who goes to war is immoral? Any soldier that is immoral? No, I I don't see the connection. Wait, no. why? I wouldn't say that. Wait, what why? Do you, do you agree I, in your I utopian don't... society nobody would ever have to go to war? We would just argue our points di uh, diplomatically. Uh, no. Really? I, yeah, no. Why would I say that? I don't understand. Wait, so we're gonna like, have war, but we're not gonna have from. the necessity to kill a thief? You're talking about utopia that, like, we can control, like, war is an outside force. So is thieving. Progressing a... Yeah, but we have some sense of control over, like, our community versus... You don't think our community includes the soldiers that we train, employ, and actively distribute across the world? Yeah, but we're actively doing all that against an outside entity correct like yeah we don't have control over that outside entity. i don't have a control that over outside a thief of... either but you have some control over the circumstances that make that thief or that and make, i have ma i have uh, a the... lot of control over the circumstances that bring us to war for instance i vote for the president that might uh, engage in uh that activity the commander-in-chief uh, no, but I you don't have that but you don't have control over what the foreign countries doing that may make your country want to... Okay, let me put it another way. We're talking from the beginning. Let's say, or do you agree that if there was some universal theft insurance, that no matter what happened, whatever you lost, you're going to regain it. That In that case, it's never moral to kill someone 
No, it it would massively it would massively depend. So like in in the circumstance, it could be that you are also afraid of your li- for your life. Like somebody could be breaking into your place of work or place of business. Uh, sh- and you sure, be- but I'm talking about when you're when you're sure that it's just your property. I'm not you're, saying you're, like, this they is, point this a gun at you and a, say, "Yo, is, motherfucker, I'm gonna a, kill you." This is kind of a misnomer. You're never sure if it's just your property. You can never just be sure if it's just your property. This is why I wouldn't make a bold uh, statement like saying well like oh anybody who kills a, somebody stealing your property is immoral because it's contextually relevant you you're well, never no, going to be able because... to dive into the person who's stealing your shit and know dive into their mind and know that they aren't there to hurt you or won't hurt uh, you if they discover you so like this yeah, is part you of that disagree argument. that they're a reasonable person could uh understand that there's a reasonable threat to their life beyond property like uh, those two things are not well, no, I, what, I, what I'm connected. saying is, uh, like, is, is if often someone just... I, ha- I think a reasonable person who is having their yeah. property stolen in front of them could fear for yeah. their life as well. And that, that could play a role in whether or not they kill the individual who is stealing their property. But, but you're not killing them because they're stealing your property then. You're killing them because they've signaled some sort of... No, you could. Uh, no, you could do. It could be. It's compounding factors. You don't have to only just assault or kill somebody because of one thing. You don't. Ha- that's not how it necessarily works, right? For instance, in the Kyle Rittenhouse case, right? Um, yeah. Like, I wouldn't say that like these people who are chasing after him should die just because they're chasing after him. It's because they're chasing after a guy with a gun that they just. Uh, themselves have recognized as uh, shooting another person and putting that individual into a position where unless they fire on them they fear for their life so it's like a multiple compounding factors it's what is it the the term necessary but not sufficient yeah but the my point is the thing that gives you justification to kill them is whatever they're doing like it's tangentially related to the robbing or whatever for example let's say someone you're a store owner Someone comes into your store and they're just taking shit off the shelf. Do you do you think you have a reasonable fear for your life if it's just some person unarmed taking shit up? Well, off this your is shelf? Th- th- there's multiple issues with this. You never know when somebody's unarmed unless you've patted them down and shit like that. So you have no idea. And often people have gotten caught doing that, like gotten caught lacking because uh, they've been, they sorry, thought you... somebody was unarmed who wasn't. So that's uh, a so. Are you serious. saying if someone unarmed is stealing shit from your store, you have the right to pull out a gun and kill them? Well, I there. think you should put them on notice and say hey yeah put them on notice sure but we're talking about killing that was like the whole foundation of this yeah i think i think if you put them on notice if you i think if you put them on notice and they're stealing from your store some person walks in casually starts stealing from your store you say hey put that shit back you know i or i'm gonna fucking shoot you i think you can shoot that person if they refuse to put that shit back yeah because really? at that point, yeah, they're making their, they're, they're saying, oh, yes, I've recognized you have stated, put me on notice, you have warned me, and I'm just going to say, fuck you, I don't believe you, pussy, and then just, like, no balls the fuck out, and just try to call your bluff. Yeah, why not? But they're calling your bluff by just, like, calmly standing there and pulling shit and, off and yourself. And stealing you from you? Gives... Yeah, like, yes, if, if you have said verbalized in that situation in that specific situation because in in other situations i would say you might fear for your life to the point where you don't have to put somebody on notice i think in general we should try our best to de-escalate this situation before resulting to lethal force however um in that circumstance that you talked about which is uh, i'm imagining somebody walking into your store in broad daylight just pulling pop tarts off your shelf right like that person saying hey dude fucking cut that shit out right or uh, i'm gonna fucking shoot you right right like and they look at you and they go nope Nah, don't fucking care. And they keep taking from you? Yeah, you have the right to shoot them. They have acknowledged what you've said, right? Unless we're going with some ESL shit, right? They've acknowledged what you've said, right? Right? They recognize what you've said. They just don't care. They've intake that information. It is not your responsibility to have to deal with that shit anymore. Like, yeah, This is where uh, you've completely, like, detached to me from the point. Because earlier you're saying... Well, it's your livelihood. It's it could be the difference between you eating and starving to death. Yeah. And now it's like, well, they're pulling pop tarts off the shelf. But if I threaten their lives over the pop tarts and they still don't care and they're still pulling pop tarts, well, now I can kill them. 
like Wait, what, what is the what is, what is the conflicting about it could still the pop tarts could still be a part of your livelihood uh, well i'll reckon that it's not going to be a massive part of your livelihood like what do you mean there's uh, many small business owners that take out mortgages on their fucking property to be able to afford the small business what do you mean what i mean is <laughs> like you're uh... How far a leap do you have to go? Like, who's judging that? It's your okay. livelihood. This is how far the leap is. Don't steal shit okay. or get hit. That's really what it is. All right. That's. I, that's I don't know why it's that simple make. to you. Like, why not just don't murder, don't kill people who are taking your shit and because, they won't die. Because what you're saying is, I have to just sit there and let people take shit from me and just go. Well, I'm broke now because you even recognize that's how the system works. The cops aren't gonna go. Oh yeah, my bad. You got all the shit stolen from you. Let me recompensate you for everything that you lost. That's not how it works, right? You even tell me where your line this. is. Where's your line exactly? Stealing where shit. You can. Okay, so now are we we've gone from stealing shit that threatens your livelihood uh, that no, threatens no, no. your ability the, to the, eat the, the next day no, to... no, no. so you're confusing something the reason why i stated that like we have to be able to kill people who steal shit is because it yeah. might threaten somebody's livelihood and or it it also like would um the the alternative to it would be that i can just take shit from anybody who is like less physically able as long as they don't like i guess higher security that could subdue me or if they weren't large enough to be able to do it i just need to walk into a store run by some five foot one woman who weighs 80 pounds and then i can take all of her shit because she can't do anything about it and then just rob her blind and run away and then you're I'm like, sorry, yeah, whatever. If you don't get compensated for that shit back, who cares? She can't use a gun on you or, like, use any lethal force. Who really cares, right? Like, because, fuck it. I, I get to take I the shit that I want. I don't understand that logic. So you're saying if... Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. You're saying uh, even if whatever they're stealing does not threaten your livelihood, does not threaten your well-being in the immediate future, it's okay to kill them. Uh, because they might continue to do it, even if it's still no. Not no it has nothing to do with like necessarily continuing to do it. It's that the uh, reality where I live in the 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 opposite, like in a world where that isn't that can't be the case, is a world that I believe is inferior to the one that we live in. I believe in order to make your statement true, in order to follow your ideology, reality becomes worse to live in. Society becomes worse to live in, therefore I do not hold the moral belief. It's a pretty simple moral system. I think ultimately the issue is like uh, stemming back to what we were referencing, or what you were referencing before where you were talking about like our differences in our moral p positions. I'm assuming, well, maybe I'm not doing great assumption work here. D do you know what meta-ethics is? Yeah. Okay, great. So then we could talk about like meta ethical positions that we have in regards to this shit, but it sounds like that's what it's ultimately down to. You view a society where you don't have to steal and where you don't have to uh, kill somebody who's stealing because like the government comes in and gives you everything back in a fucking no. instant in, no. a, in a matter of just fucking two seconds. And therefore, if we if that's the case, then we don't have to like we sh it shouldn't be immoral right now. I think the morality of certain uh, uh, actions is massively based on the context of that situation. And I think the context no. can include the material conditions. No, I think the meta-ethical perspective I'm coming from is that if someone takes something from you, if someone threatens your uh, livelihood, whatever you want to call it, your business, your livelihood, your future, that that is a lesser offense than their literal existence. Okay, so because if, mm -hmm, that, if you're going to... That's like the fundamental yeah. disagreement that we have. Okay. Because it, no then, matter what... Wait, uh, hold on. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, ahead. so why is it, why is it that you can infringe upon my livelihood, what or my property? What is it that that makes that permissible? It's not permissible. the uh, The point is that permissible it being to the point impermissible where which I doesn't kill mean you. that you can kill them. Yeah, exactly. So wait, Just wait, the same no, no, way that no, 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 wait, no, you, let me say you, the same okay. way that 
If I shove you, that's not permissible. Okay. If okay, I just hold on. shove because you in you the have, middle of the street. You're missing at all. It's permissible because you recognize in other circumstances you'd be able to kill the person. Like when somebody is being raped. If I am raping somebody, even in your ideal society, you would be able to kill them, correct? Like if I am being yes. raped, I'm, exactly. So it is permissible. Yes. You are actively saying that property being stolen is permissible in regards to the ability to use lethal intent. Why? Why is it that I can't kill somebody because they are stealing my property? What makes that okay? Again, like I was saying, it's, uh, you're saying like, uh, is, if I walked up to you on the street and I never saw you before, I don't know anything about you and I just shoved you, is that permissible? I, I think you'd say no, right? Does that yeah, I would probably say no. You, I mean, it depends on the context, but I would I mean, if we're, say we're just no. complete strangers, you're just walking down the street and I walk up to you and I shove you. I, it really does depend. You could be trying to mug me. You could be trying to kill me. It depends. But like, generally speaking, no, I don't think I should pull out the gat and kill you. No. Okay. Well, it's the same thing. Like you're talking about rape versus stealing no, no, no. property. But I can justify, I can justify the difference. I'm telling you to justify why I can't kill somebody over my property. Why not? It was like I said a few minutes ago because uh, your the loss of your property is not necessarily an an end like it's not the end of your life necessarily. It's so can I your, only uh, kill no, people over things that will end my life? Yes, when okay. it is a threat to your well, life. Like on. that's our legal hold system on. for hold the on. most hold part, on. right? You Wait. understand that if you rape somebody, that doesn't mean that they die, right? So why yes, can I kill the, uh, somebody but, if they're raping me? It's cause because you're appealing you, to something somebody, else. So do it again. So no, refine what no, you just No, no, I'm said. not appealing to something else. You are. Uh, let me speak and I'll explain it. Because when someone's raping you, they've demonstrated that they're far beyond the bat. Like between raping and killing, there isn't um, that massive a gap. So uh, they're demonstrating. What do you? What do you well, there's not. A I'm massive raping of a you gap. right justify, now. Justify. Justify that. Justify that. Okay. Like, what do you mean there isn't that massive of a gap? What are you referencing when you're talking about okay, the gap? Okay, on a on a human level, like uh, we all consider rape pretty much as heinous as it gets, besides murder, correct? Yeah, like, I mean, nothing... sure. That doesn't and mean that every rapist is a murderer. No, but it means that they're demonstrating that they're so like detached from whatever moral, human, whatever you want to call it, standards we have, that it is a reasonable fear. If you're being raped, I would argue any reasonable human being would say, well, I have a fear that this person might also kill me. So you're, Whereas that you're, is not... On, then your issue is that they might kill you not being raped. So what if the person said, I promise I'm just going to rape you, not kill you? I'm giving you the uh, exact line of logic that you used against me okay, when it came to the wanna, property. Uh, sure. Do you recognize this, will be this a hot line take. of logic? No, no, I don't. Because here, here's a hot take that people will question mark spam over. If God came down and said to you, yo, this person is going to rape you and they're going to go away. I guarantee you I'm God. This is what's going to happen. Yeah, I would say it's not morally permissible to kill them. Oh, okay. There we go. But I that's think not I, reality. Well, I, I, not I, reality. I appreciate. Well, no, that gets down to the moral, the moral question of it. I, I appreciate you being candid with that because that saves quite a bit of time. I actually appreciate that quite a bit. So we just morally disagree sure. on this. I think the act in it of itself, rape and what have you, is worthy of being able to kill somebody in it of itself. I don't think that the only – so it seems like what it comes down to is the only reason in your mind – that we ought to be able to ultimately, with perfect knowledge, of course, perfect knowledge, the only yeah. thing that can justify the killing of another person is them uh, attempting to kill you. Correct? That's what uh, it seems like. A, re a reasonable... Yeah, you don't have to be like 100% sure, but okay. a reasonable Yeah, a reasonable belief like a reasonable yeah. belief. Okay. So then, just like if they're mm -hmm. stealing your property and they're coming at you with like sure, sure. guns and yeah, shit, sure, I would sure. say sure. Yeah, you but know, the, the, it ultimately it's necessarily... because they're trying to kill you, right? Like not because yeah, of the property. The, the, okay. Not that they're so trying the, to kill you, but that there's a reasonable here, belief here, that they might kill here's you. Here's how I'm going to I'm gonna give you a little bit of an aggressive question. What if I said I was sure. just going to kill your kid? What if I just shoot your kid in front of you? Are you allowed to kill me? I don't know. Can you repeat what that? What if I Rephrase shoot your that? kid? What if I say I'm going to yeah. shoot your kid? Right? There's plexiglass. Uh, bullet, I'm sorry. Or, I'm bullet, sorry. Let on. me let bullet? me correct myself. Uh, wait. Yeah. I know where you're going. Yeah. Uh, let me. Uh, 
kill you or someone else okay. any life okay. it's equal like equal response so no, if, take so a if life somebody, to take a life so then if basically. somebody so right if somebody is uh, uh is going to kill somebody else right yeah anybody yeah. has permission to kill that person yeah if you reasonably believe that they're gonna okay kill that person anyone anyone yeah okay uh of defend in in the terms of defending property yeah i would say like <laughs> There are some cases, like for example, if the property is inherently okay. so a then, threat, so like then say I, you're I'm robbing gonna... a firearms store, mm -hmm. you're a I, I understand. I understand a water where you're going with this. I'm gonna give yeah, you. Yeah. I'm gonna give you a separate. I'm gonna give you a separate. Wait, poisoning okay. a water supply. What if? Wait. What I, if I, I like just uh, we're talking about a movie scenario here. Okay, I don't even so know if like, that's like realistic, but okay. What you if, know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What if, for instance, yeah. right, that you are given. In a hypothetical situation, two options. Sure. Right? One, yeah. you have to let a person rape your kid, or two, you can kill that person. Do you think that you should let that person rape the kid if God comes down and then says that's the case? What do you mean? If God comes down? Yeah, and like says, you said uh, before, when you said God comes down, says that this person will only rape you and not kill you, you have to let no. them do that. So wait, yeah. why? So like? No, you can. Okay. You can employ violence against them not kill them not That's, kill them so like if god we're comes talking down like and a, says, so let me on. be clear everything yeah. i'm talking let me just say before you go on everything i'm talking about is about killing not violence yeah, yeah, I, I understand i understand very clearly okay. if okay. god comes down okay. just to be clear and says okay. this person will not kill your kid or you then you have to yeah. and the only thing that you could possibly do to this person is kill that that person that is raping your kid that you would say that hey fuck it you have to let that kid rape your kid but that's not like realistic. You kind of like there's always well, no, options it's beyond. Not, it's not. It's not necessarily about whether or not it's realistic. It's about what ethical positions we're coming from. Because I would argue that okay. the act of rape in and of itself foregoes your right to life. Period. You're infringing on somebody's humanity, their basic human rights. That I would argue that is worthy of death. Like if I can. Oh well, that I guess that's a fundamental disagreement. Right. Here. That's what I, I'm, I'm trying to that, get to, and we'll never I'm make saying that, uh, if we don't agree on this. Yeah, exactly. It's like a axiomatic thing. I'm saying that the the whatever you want to, whatever, whether it's revenge or uh, just justice or prevention, it it it's only justified when it's uh, equal to what's being done. Yeah, so I, I I would I I would consider that or greater. In, yeah, right. so I would I think we would just stipulate as to what is equal. I would say if you're infringing on somebody's right to bodily autonomy in the case of like rape or something, you are not valuing somebody's life as if they are a person, and that therefore I do not have to value your life as if you're a person. I can end it. I can terminate your life. So would you argue that rape should have a death penalty? No, I don't think so. This happens post hoc. That's after the situation. So it, so if your question is even about, let's say that um, somebody raped like uh, somebody that I know or like even me, yeah. let's say they rape me and I see them on yeah. the street later. I don't think I should be allowed to kill sure. that person. I think I have to then get the authorities involved and the proper channels involved. This is all as a preventative measure as to prevent it from occurring, not like as a retributive uh, state or what have you. After the facts and after the case, then you get the authorities involved and then you get the proper channels involved. All of this is about preventative, even the shoplifting and everything. If somebody shoplifts so where's the from line? you and then you say, what do you mean, where's the line? If it is it is currently uh, well, happening, or you believe it is, you have no, reasonable no. fear for it about to happen, then you can terminate the live. Uh, correct me if I, you're saying that uh, to prevent a certain action, yep, it's justifiable to do a like a prevent it with a greater action, basically, right? Well, I don't view them as necessarily greater. No, like not necessarily. So you're saying no. that like rape and murder, murder is not greater than rape it's not like a greater so, offense. Mur murder can a... yeah i i think i can put morally speaking murder somebody who murdered somebody and somebody who raped somebody on a similar like plane yeah i would put them on similar similar planes, yeah. like uh, you're sorry, just gonna I leave could it put them on the similar, same i could like... put them on the same plane sorry that sounded weaselly i could 100 sincerely uh, you yeah. sincerely believe that a rapist and a murderer are equal there's no yeah, like I, a, I one think... isn't worse than the other yeah, so you're, if someone yeah, said, okay, let me take your, your argument. Mm -hmm. if, so, if God came down and said, yo, uh, this guy's either going to rape your kid or murder your kid, you're just going to be like, oh, it doesn't matter, same thing. That's, so that's, that's different. Gonna... So hold on. Saying that something can, okay. have morally, can be morally equivalent in regards to my treatment of those things would be like not, in, in my opinion, um, 
necessarily congruent with what would happen to my uh, my person as a, a, a as a uh, like an entity. So like the, my whole point is that morally speaking, I find that putting rape and murder in the same like quote 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 unquote bad bin uh, presents yeah. positive outcomes. That's pretty much what is happening. It presents it presents the best outcomes for society if I put them in a similar bin. So, like for instance, um, would you I'm say not that? You there. Yeah. So, like you can make that decision if you would like. But if no, you... I, well, I mean, you you yourself said it. Like, yeah, if you're putting them in the same bin, then why would you not advocate for a rapist to get the same uh, uh, legal punishment as a murderer if they're I... the same thing to you? Like if. Or I mean, I think you? it Maybe depends on a case know. by case. Yeah, I, I mean, I probably would. Yeah, I mean, it, it depends on the case by case, though. It, it depends on intent and things like this. It's case by case, but in general, yeah, I would put them at a pretty similar, like, punishment. I mean, I don't think that like uniquely uh, murderers should face like massive punishments in comparison to like rapists. I don't know. I think that's a. Uh... I'm not sure you're being sincere here, or maybe you are. I just, uh, well, I, well, just, I mean, I, I you think... know, we have thousands of years of human history. Like, people don't believe that for, I would argue, for good reason. Like, these two things are not. Equal I mean, it seems like there's a lot of people that really don't like rape, and there's a lot of people that really don't like murder. I, yeah, I think but in a one of them is severely, of like, there's a severe gap between the punishment and the treatment of the two. Like you, are you gonna disagree with that? I I mean, what do you mean the gap and what are you referencing when you say gap? Like, what, well, what do anything. You mean? Okay, let's take it from a legal perspective. Like raping someone and murdering someone has severely I wouldn't different make consequences. An, I wouldn't One make is... an appeal. I wouldn't make an appeal to our current legal system for moral standards. Well, uh, I'm saying that in the sense that like moral standards i would hope i think you'd agree to some degree reflect our moral values and i would argue in this case sensibly so like i don't think many people would sincerely argue that rape and murder are equal crimes that uh, you should treat them equally you should see them both as the same sort of offense and the perpetrators should be treated isn't it the same isn't way. it often though that in a lot of states at least in the united states that rape you can get the death penalty for I don't believe that's true at all. Oh, okay. I mean, I maybe, mean maybe maybe I'm may, wrong. Maybe but... I'm wrong. I rape death penalty. We'll see. Maybe maybe I'm wrong, but I swear there was. Uh, maybe it's just lefty shit. But I remember. Yeah, uh, a I would. I'd imagine that's sentenced. some lefty shit. But... Yeah. Well, no. I mean, it, like I remember a couple of uh, black people getting sentenced to death for. Well, false that's some rape racist allegation. bullshit. If that's if that's the case. Well, I'd put it like this: If rape is like death penalty worthy, a uh, murder hundred percent is as well in okay, the same sure, jurisdiction. Sure. So but, then they would be but the other way around doesn't work. Like you know what I mean? You'll never I, I find just, a place I think, where I think rape. We're I think we're coming at this from really just really really different positions because your view on like uh, on on self defense is that I can never kill somebody unless I have reasonable fear that they're going to kill me. N nothing really else, like specifically or serious bodily harm like i which is yeah so yeah or, well, you, no, you, actually, you make it sound seriously bodily, bodily harm but you make yeah. it sound arbitrary but it's no less arbitrary than saying like well my property i'm not saying you know, so. i don't give a fuck if it's arbitrary all morals no, are yeah no i know you don't but you know, like the tone you're I'm giving sorry, all morals i believe all morals are arbitrary so right. yeah yeah fair enough so yeah but okay. i'm just saying like uh the the way you the way you speak of this, uh, you make it sound like it's some absurd idea that, oh, well, you can't defend yourself in defense of your yeah, property. Yeah, I, I do, I do think people. it is. I do think it is quite absurd. I do. I do think this is quite an absurd position. I think this well, leads. I think this leads to people who are less abled, less physically able to be able to defend their property, needing to sit, sit idly by while more abled people steal from them. I think that's. I don't. I don't see why like the less abled. Thing plays into it. I'm not because, sure how like, that's relevant. Because, like, let's say I'm a, I mean, I mean, I'm assuming this is the case. If I'm a six-two, like, fucking three hundred pound dude, I lift every yeah. fucking day, and some five-one sure. chick comes out in who weighs eighty pounds, and she starts stealing from me. Can I just sure. physically stop her from stealing and then throw her out of my store? Yeah, why not? 
Yeah. So what you're saying is in the reverse now in the reverse situation, she has to just sit there and let that happen because she can't stop me. No, I don't like. Uh, well, she again, can't kill me. So you're what is you're she conflating. Do? You're conflating. Wait, like what is she going to do? With... Wait, what is she going to do? Hit me with do you a not ruler? Believe there's, do you not believe there's like a middle ground between physically she's, what is, she's dragging gonna, someone she's gonna, out she's gonna try and tase shooting me? someone in the head? So she's going to try and tase me? What is she going to do? Okay, you are, you are my sincere Yeah, so what position. is she going to it would do? Be, yes. My sincere position would be in today's age, in the way shit works, you should be able to defend yourself in ways that have a likelihood of death. So long as that is not your primary intent. Uh, that's so what the, wait, so, so like, what, don't, like, don't what, fucking, like, like, unload a clip into a dude's head. Because they're... Wait, so I can shoot them as your... long as I don't intend to kill them? Yeah, why not? Okay, like, you're lost. You, you, you know sorry, that you're, the you're vast lost. majority of... You're lost. What do you mean? I'm sorry. If, if, if How is that lost? If, your posi- you realize... if this is genuinely your position, is that, like, hey, you can't kill somebody in defense of property, but you could shoot them with a gun, just don't intend to kill them? You're lost. I'm sorry. This is, like, I'm sorry I wasted my time. Uh, I'm sorry I wasted no. my chat's time. You're fucking trolling me, dude. I'm sorry. I don't ban people. You realize... You're fucking trolling me. I'm banning you. I'm so you, sorry, buddy. You realize... You're fucking trolling me. Whole... No, nah, fuck that shit, man. F- I'm sorry. Like, let's. That's a fucking troll. A hundred trillion percent. That's a fucking troll, man. I'm sorry. That's that's the fucking case. That's the fact of the matter. That's a fucking troll, man. You're fucking joking.